shave their faces, real men shave their faces. Good morning, Stevie Daily Shaver. This morning, you will have watched my first video where I've discussed the new version 2 um, 6S from Rockwell. This is the new MIM metal injection molded, and this one is perfect. Specs and comparisons only do so much. The real test is you have a shave and you see how you go. So you can tell from the number down there, I'm going to use the second base plate with their handle, which is a fraction shinier than their old one, but pretty much the same. Okay. Now this time, have a look at that. Dead even. Both sides. Absolutely tickety bloody boo. Nice and shiny. Quite nice. I don't blame you for version one. You had to have version one to get version two. Um, and except for the cap on version one, they got so close. But version two just blows version one out of the way and it's still at a good price on their website. So this morning I'm going to shave with um, Taylor of Old Bond Street. Eaton is the centre, that one. Got a bit in my bowl that's already been warming up. And today I'm going to use um, Stubby, my K-Shave Works Synthetic Knot. And just the right size. The Taylor of Bond Street soap is it's just a leather monster, that one. Look at it. Look at it. And you put a synthetic on it, you only need a little bit, and that's more than I could shave with this week, I reckon. So, stage one done. Stage two. Let's open one of these. Okay. Scent. It's got a bit of lavender in this one. So, pop it around. Great. Give it a shake. So, the ingredients might have settled. Oh, this is nice. Mm, I like lavender. Okay. So that's spritzing and put a layer of shaving cream on. I'm using a brand new Persona blade. And I know two's probably, I'd bounce around between two and three. I found four, five and six. Well, I found five and six to be a big mistake. Beautiful. You can tell, you can feel the weight. Wow. Just put it against my face and let gravity draw it down. It's the upside of the weight. It's the handle the weight comes from. If you change your handle, you'd have a much lighter. That was no worries. I had a good day and a half's growth. It was a bit to come off. Love the brand new Persona. Other brands that are cheaper that I like are Shark. Wait, Shark Chromes and and um, Super Maxes. I was just tearing through the show. I had some Chu Chi prawns at the um, Thai Indian place, and I think the two prawns are still alive and kicking down there. I didn't realise until I came home this afternoon that the curry had been and dropped off. Oh, that's that's good. Wow, my cheeks are just and yeah, cheeks are smooth, just a little bit under the bottom. So again, the heavier razors do tend to reduce the amount of passes that you need to do, which is, you know, I was listening to Nick talk about the trauma of shaving. Man, that's what the cream's for. If you're having trauma shaving, you're doing something wrong. My face is thrilled at the trauma. The eating is great. Um, no complaints. Love the scent. It has a very... Mm. It's floral. Uh, actually, it smells like Eaton should smell like, which is an odd thing to say considering I, there's one that I don't have that I want, which is, I can't remember. Well, for a shave, it's a two thumbs up from me. And you got two thumbs, so that's the highest rating I can give anything. You know, one to ten. One thumb, two thumbs, two thumbs up. So this is a two thumbs up. <clears throat> if you're like me, you're going to be lucky um, and get two. Um, you'll have your original and you'll get a new one. Uh, 
but they're still available on their website. Ooh, just a little bit at the other angle. They're still available on their website at a discount. I think it's about 80, 90 bucks US, about 120 bucks Australian, plus whatever courier freight fees are. And a big thanks to Gareth for getting this to me quick. Well, that's a fantastic shave. Don't normally shave in the afternoon during the summer, it's just too hot in my bathroom, but today we've had a cool change. So it's tolerable, you know. How would it compare with a standard razor? Standard razors um, sell a mass drop from $45 to $50 with the stand. That is good value. It's aluminium, it's nice and light, it's brilliant as a travel razor. Schmickers. Okay, um, how does it compare with its obvious competitor, the above the tyres? Now the above the tyres are CNC, that's the M1. How does that compare? The M1 base cap is probably about a 2 on here. So it's pretty bloody good. The M1's good. That's $189 and above the tie, M1. You know, basically individually machined and finished. These, under 100. With three base plates. That's the equivalent of a $500 above the tie kit. That, that is going to hurt. Now that they've dialed in the MIM manufacturer, uh, these Barring price changes and availability, this is a game changer for the company. I'll just give that a little dry. Beautiful. Fit and finish, top notch. I'll just dry the cap. Underneath the cap, which is the area most people neglect a little bit, it looks pretty bloody good to me. And the cap's nice. Probably going to be a fingerprint dust magnet. All my razors that sit out get a lot of crap sitting on them, but nothing that a good clean doesn't get rid of. That's handy things about these. At this point, you've definitely got the, and I just had one then, you got the icon. Okay, I've seen these caps for 50, 60 bucks with a handle for about 90 um, to 120. US. All prices are going to be mentioned US today. I'm just getting used to the fact that everyone prices everything in US. This is a really nice razor. I like mine on the M5, same as I'll probably like the other one on, a, on my M5 um, style handles. Bit lighter for the cap, all the weights in the handle. Very close. Price wise, different. Um, icons, you're going to run up the price pretty quick. Uh, this is a Wolfie. Well, that's my shave for the day. I'll finish up with a little Thayer's and a little a drop of Parase. Then I'm going to get ready and go out for dinner. I gotta highly recommend. Now, this is someone who slammed them for sending me the first one. And don't get me wrong, I will have compared them and showed you. This is just a, a the perfect version of what version one wanted to be but due to the manufacturing process and the quantities obviously and quality control that process couldn't give them the uh, final finished product this one can so these it's going to be hard to go past this though handle if weight means quality there's not a lot to complain about in this new handle you ask yourself how much better could the old one be and I was impressed with the old one. This one actually is a smidgen nicer. Like the rest, it's been finished nice and shiny. It's a joy to hold, easy to hold, easy to contour, nice weight and heft. The one thing that I don't have that I will probably invest in um, in a subsequent order for one of these is um, I'm probably going to invest in the Stand, that's the word, stand. Today's word is stand. So I'll probably go and invest in a stand for this, for my second one. They get the rest, I keep the stand, just to clear that up. 
Look, I'm Stevie Daily Shaver. I'm really impressed. I'm blown away. I'm very happy. I'm baby butt smooth. No weepers, no nothing. Um, there's few, several razors here that could have achieved it. They would have achieved it at a much higher price than this one cost me. Assuming the first one, you know, doesn't count. If you got the money, order it. You got the room on the credit card, buy it. Your kids look like they're not going to amount to anything, trade them in. I'm Stevie Daly Shaver. Remember, good food, good friends, good shaves, amen. And while it's nice to be important, you shouldn't take advice from people talking into their iPhones. Remember, I'm wishing you all the best shaves and goodbye.